this is Ray-Bans and Fedora and this is a video 2 of my 3 part video series on how to install OSX El Capitan on your Mac. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to install a bootable USB stick of OSX El Capitan so you can do a clean install. I'm going to quit it. I don't need that. I'm going to close this as well. I'm going to minimize this for now. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to plug in an 8 gig, minimum 8 gig USB stick. As you can see, I've already got one here. But now what we need to do is just hit command space bar and just type disk utility. Enter. So now we got disk utility running. And this is my hard drive. This is the 8 gig USB stick. So what I'm going to do here is I need to format this. I'm just going to click on the erase button. So over here, we're going to click on OS extended journal. And over here, the name. Uh, I want you guys to copy the exact same name I've got. It's just going to be simpler. And we're going to get it from here. It's called LCOP Installer. Just copy that. I've got these two in the description as well, so you can just copy it directly. LCOP Installer. Click Erase. It's going to erase everything that's on that USB stick, so make sure if you've got anything important on it, back it up. Nice. Alright, so as you can see here, it's our top installer. Now we're going to go to partition. We go to partition layout. We do one partition. And here as well, we're going to call this LCAP installer. So again, copy it exactly the way I have it. We're going to click on options. Make sure that GUID partition table is selected. Click OK. And then we just click on apply and click partition. Alright, so that is done. Close this utility for now. Now I want you to open up the uh, well, command spacebar and type in the terminal. Alright guys, at this point what you're gonna want to do is first type in sudo su. Press enter. Now type in your admin password, your Mac password. But again, I'm not copying the pseudo suit because I just typed that in and I pressed enter. I'm just copying this portion over here. Just uh, paste it. Click enter. And just so you guys know, this could take a good 20 to 30 minutes depending on the speed of your, your Mac and the speed of your USB stick. Click enter. So as you can see, it completed. There were no errors. Um, and you get this message done and you're pretty much good to go. I will reiterate this took about 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on your Mac and the USB stick if you have any questions. So if you've got a USB 3.0, it might only take two to three minutes. But 